I want everybody to have a moment to shine. We all want a moment where we feel like we are, you know, that lead character. It's a very inexpensive way to create an effect for, for the audience. As someone who looks at light, I'm very conscious when I move from one physical space to another, the feeling that I'm getting based on, on what the light is, where it is, what the source is, what color it is, how intense it is. So, you know, I, I'm always thinking, you're trying to transport somebody into a universe, you know, that doesn't exist. You have to think about every part of that so that the universe feels like a real place. Cliff, you know, who I've worked with more than any other composer, was someone that hadn't written music for a movie before. He was a musician. I met him by accident, and he and I started talking, and then a few months later, I got the money to make Sex Lies, and I contacted him, and I said, how would you like to write a score for this movie? You've had an effect on my life. There are occasions when I have a very clear idea before the film has even started of what I would like the, the music to feel like. And then there are times when I keep exploring uh, different approaches um, to try and find something that I think feels like the movie. Contagion, I was shooting and editing and using a certain kind of more traditional orchestral score, and it wasn't working. So I started pulling up different kinds of music and leaning more toward the electronic area, and, and I sent a couple pieces to Cliff, and he very quickly turned something around, and I said, that's it, that's the sound. I know everything there is to know about computers, okay? All the Twitters, I know them. But me and Sam just ain't sure we can help y'all. I grew up in the South, and I know people like that, and they can surprise you. One of my favorite scenes in Logan Lucky is when they're, they're in the tunnel, and the arm's been taken off, and suddenly the two brothers, who we thought were complete idiots, go off on this sort of philosophical discussion about what an arm is, and suddenly you're looking at them and you realize, like, they're not stupid. Technically, it's not your arm. Yeah, talk to him, will you? Your arm you've lost over in Iraq. That thing in there is just a piece of plastic. Or, you know, Joe Bang writing out the equation on the wall, you know what I mean? Like, you think this guy's kind of a redneck and doesn't really, and then suddenly he's giving you a science lesson. That kind of stuff, I think, is really fun. Energy means light explosion, or as I like to call it, the Joe Bang. They all, every day, they're the lead character in their own movie. And, and if they're behaving a certain way, it's because they believe that that is the way that they will get what they want. You make this personal, and it isn't. Not personal? That is my work! My sweat, my time away from my kids, if that's not personal, I don't know what it is. Typically, the, the, the normal movie is interested in the, you know, the two lovers that meet in the hotel and what's gonna happen to them. And I feel like, yeah, but what about, like, the person who has to come in and, like, change the sheets and, like, pick up the towels? What's going on with them? Like, what do they see? Like, that stuff matters. <laughs>